Hello! Monsters are bound here and welcome to a brand new Vampire Counts campaign. I know what you're going to say. Right, so yeah, I got to part 14 of my Kemmler and Krell campaign and unfortunately the Norsica patch hit and I can't continue it. I'm really sorry. I, now, let's not get into who should have organised whose recording schedule better. You know, there's wrong on both sides here, but let's let's get to the important point. This really is a story about a strange, crazy, bearded old man and his mutual respect and maybe even love for his giant axe-wielding skeleton. Let's let's let that bring us all back together. We're gonna have a big group hug. Really squeeze in, that's nice. Leave it a little bit long so it gets a little bit weird. And break. Okay, good. Now everything's forgiven, and we're gonna start a brand new campaign with Kemler and of course Krell. Manfred will probably join in as well later because he's a bit of a third wheel, but that's fine. Um I am on I'm on I'm on turn ten. I know what you're thinking. Why turn ten? Why not start well I think that the Vampire Count campaign is, is fairly it's fairly samey to start off with. For the first sort of like five to ten turns, generally, you're just taking out Templehof. So usually it starts with you, you hit the the army that's within range the first turn, chase it back to Templehof, siege Templehof, take Templehof, take Eschen, take Waldenhof, and then take Fort Oberstrei. That's pretty much your first six to ten turns, I think. Um, took a little bit longer with the Steel Faith Overhaul mod because it boosts up the garrisons and we are still using the Steel Faith over mod, uh, overhaul mod. We've got it installed with the update for the Norse campaign so it's going to be basically the same as the Kemmler and Krell campaign. I'm going to call it the Vampire Count campaign just to differentiate it. Different, yeah that one, that word, good. Uh, from the Kemmler and Krell campaign but it's still going to be very much a Kemmler and Krell campaign of course. Tomb rot, Tomb rot indeed Kemmler. Kemmler was the my legendary lord uh, that I started with and uh, of course if we pop uh, let's just give you a little bit of a, an overview of uh, Kemmler as we have him at the moment so he's obviously got the new skill tree which is very exciting so we, we picked up master of the dead that's going to give us extra power reserve and a uh, healy kind of um, aura which is quite nice and we've got lord of scourge this is a new um, trait that he gets which gives him leadership uh, attrition deduction and casualty replenishment rate We've got Thrill Master, that's another one. Uh, so that gives us additional experience for skeleton and zombie uh, zombie units, recruitment reduction and de uh, raised dead reduction. And then, this is the, the probably the best bit, is we get a new uh, Krell line. That's right, so um, he can buff up Krell. So the first rank is Undying Guardian. That gives us, uh, that means Krell uh, degrades at half speed. Immortal Challenger gives him some new abilities. Perpetual Regeneration gives him health and melee defense. Black Axe gives him melee attack and charge bonus. And Eternal Bastion means he no longer degrades in a battle. Now, I think that the Steel Faith Overhaul mod does... It. I don't think he degrades anyway. But I'm still going to get it because I just feel that, you know... I think that the, that the skill tree get, gets you to a point where, where Krell won't degrade. And I think that's a, a, that's a reason for specking into it. So we'll probably go that way anyway. Um, we've got Invocation of Heckle because he starts off with that. And we've got Raised Dead as well because who doesn't love to raise some dead? And we've got rest, the Restless Dead. That's going to give us some campaign movement and ambush defense chance. And then Ancient Cunning because I love ambushes. So uh, got that one as well. So that's, uh, Kr that's uh, Kemmler at the moment. He also has a Fencer's Blade and a Potion of Speed. So, he, you know, he enjoys his fencing. That's that's nice. And he's got a Potion of Speed. Um, I don't know about you, but Morrison's, my local Morrison's, uh, old people are forever clogging up the aisles. And I think they could really do with a Potion of Speed just to uh, just to speed them up a bit and get them out of my goddamn way. He's also got a Standard Discipline. I've got the, um, I think it's the, it's the Unbannered mod, which uh, makes banners a bit more interesting because the Standard Discipline, I think, generally just gives you plus four leadership whoop de doo uh, but the, this, up, this upgraded one uh, gives leadership gives the assigned unit discipline and expert charge defense I think that really that really makes it something that you kind of go this will really buff up that unit and uh, it'll make it kind of unique so I quite like that so that's quite nice uh, what else happened oh yes uh, we we got um, Oswald Ratep here he turned up last turn I can't recruit White Kings yet, but he did pop up thanks to an event. Uh, he is irresolute, which means that it's going to cost us more to build buildings in the local region, but he is faster uh, in, in battle and on the campaign. So there is that. I mean, that's uh, it's not too bad. 
Vlad. Vlad, um, yeah, so we, Vlad still has Schwartz half and, and he's taken the moot, I guess, because it always seems to be his first move. I guess maybe he just likes, maybe he just really liked the Lord of the Rings film. He he goes to the moot and, and writes erotic fan fiction about Sam and Bilbo or something. I don't know. Sure, that. So he's currently in the moot. We're going to keep an eye on him. Last time I couldn't confederate with him and I don't know whether it's actually even possible to confederate with him with the mod on. It could be that the mod um, makes the AI think it's stronger than it is, and that I that maybe we, we could never actually confederate. He'll never think he's weak enough or we're strong enough to confederate. I don't know, but it would be nice if we could confederate with Vlad. I would like that, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, we do currently have the quest battle for uh, the Battle of Hellfen up here. Uh, that would get us a Gold Sigil Sword and a Necromancer, so I think that's well worth doing. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Waldenhof because there's a, a great many dead here. And I think that would uh, be a big help. So we're going to head over there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Oswald to join us. Let's uh, embed Oswald in our army. Yeah, hurry up Oswald. Come on. Speed up. There we go. Good stuff. And uh, we've got some building going on. We're trying to uh, buff up our infrastructure. Uh, Eastern Sylvania is currently has a bit of provincial instability. Thanks to a, a raid by uh, Templehof early on in the campaign. Um, the other factions, I mean, Karakadrin is quiet. Zuthbar, I mean, they've been sort of massing their forces, but I'm not particularly worried about that. It's just, uh, I've only seen Vlad um, to the west, and uh, nothing's been happening to the north. So it's all, it's all fairly quiet, to be honest. So uh, let's go into turn 11 and see what happens. You know, I've got the uh, banner mod on that changes the flags as well, and they, they look, I mean, they look really, really good. So I'm, I'm that's a, a really good mod if you'd like it. I'll put the mod in the description if you're interested. Uh, so let's hop into Wardenhof. There we go. And let's uh, raise dead. So what can we get? Ooh, hello. It's uh, quite a nice bunch of units we could pick up. Um, you know what? I quite want the Crypt Horrors. Oh, I was going to use all our money. Hmm. I do like Crypt Horrors, though. Poison attacks... Lethal poison regeneration. Um, yeah, I want crypt horrors, and uh, maybe we'll get uh, some black knights next turn. Maybe quite like that idea. Yeah, I think I quite like that idea. Uh, say so. Uh, let's. Uh, Do I? I, mean, I could just grab some bog standard units. No, no. I'll, I'll raise some more dead next turn after we get some income. Okay, so uh, let's grab... Uh, I... Yeah, I'm going to get Black Knights with uh, Lance and Bardic. I'm going to get a Corpse Cart as well. Can we get anything else? No. Let I think... You know what, I think that army's going to be more than strong enough to take on Hellfen, so let's do that now. And uh, we'll fight this one. The battle for Hellfen here, sort of the introductory quest battle. Uh, each of the main factions gets them, the newer factions don't, unfortunately. And it just gives you a sort of a little quest battle to do. It gives you uh, an, usually an agent and a magic item to play about with, so that's quite nice. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to Warhammer 2 and having more of these sort of quest battle um, instances I hope uh, that will pop up. I hope that's a sort of, sort of similar thing and as well the, uh, the little marauding armies sharp as well. I think that would be quite good. Uh, so we've got our skeletons in the main line there. There's our crypt, crypt horrors on the left flank there. We've got our knights with lances and barding on the right. And uh, they're shooting at our zombies. Ah, oh, the poor zombies. Oh no. Oh no, he's lost his head. So did that one, but he's okay. He's getting up. It's fine. He missed his vital spots. That's nice. That's good. And of course, we've got our, our Hex Race, Khan Race, and the uh, so the one the dire the di pack. There we go. They're there as well. Looks like their uh, missile units are trying to take out the the, the Koningstein Stalkers. Um, who cares? And it's, this this is this should be an easy win anyway, but. Uh, just a, it's just a nice little quest battle to start off with, I thought. Yeah. There's our Crypt Horrors. I do love the Crypt Horrors. 
Uh, they're not going to do well against those pikemen, but I mean, ah, they're cooked horrors, they'll be fine. But we're gonna we're gonna pull them out of that because uh, you know what we can we I mean why in, why engage them with our crypt horrors when we can engage with the skeletons and then flank right exactly so our black knights on the right flank here charging up the road the right guard are going to move in response the right guard and the uh, black knights going to clash there they go oof. Quite damaging on both sides, but I, I suspect that the Black Knights. Oh no! I, oh, the right guard are probably going to eat that out. But here comes the Dire Pack to help. And of course, they're anti large, so that's going to be. I mean, yeah, the right guard are going to start losing that fight quite badly. X Race coming into the rear here. They're going to chase down the missile units. Crypt Horrors smashing into the flank of this Helbadir unit. Yeah. They're not going to enjoy that. And over here is Heinrich. He's cheering on the uh, Zombles and Skellingtons. And Krell's appeared in the back here. Come on, Krell, get stuck in there. Go on. Yeah, doing, doing good job. Nice work, Krell. Good stuff. The X uh, Khan race have engaged the Helbadiers in the back there. That's given the Hex race time to engage missile units. And the centre of the Imperial Army is broken already. Getting some heals dropped here. The Black Knights have taken quite a lot of damage. But uh, the Reich's Guard are now utterly surrounded. But for future reference, Reich's Guard beat Black Knights. So that's something to keep in mind. Yeah. It's odd because the uh, Black Knights are actually armour-piercing. Whereas the, the Reich's Guard are. Oh well. Such is life. The Hex Race are now charging in. Khan race there, sister Khan race there, and uh, pretty much everywhere else. Yeah, I mean this, this Helbody unit is the last one standing, and in come the Crypt Horrors. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I'd run too if I were them. Our Imperial Army now broken and running for the hills as per usual. Kemmler and Krell do it again! The dynamic duo. Like Batman and Robin, but without the tights. Well, I don't know about I don't know about Kemmler, he might be wearing tights, I don't know. He wears a robe, it's difficult to tell. There we go. An easy win. Us. Yeah, they really have. A nice simple battle there, just to get just to ease us into the campaign, like a like a soothing bubble bath. Ooh, that's good. The camera's got some new uh, some more experience and um I kind of want the cash. I might return the captives. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Strike out. We go the battle for Hellfen. Uh, Hell has one. There we go. And um, we got a necromancer and a gold sigil sword. So there's a gold sigil sword. And um, what I should have done is, of Let course, move the banner the because I had it on Kemmler, and I should have moved it to an actual unit rather than Kemmler. And also, I mean, I think what I'll do is give Kemmler the, the gold sigil sword. That's going to increase his aura leadership effect and income from post battle loot. And what I will do is I will give um, Oswald here. The Potion of Speed, because, I mean, Kemmler doesn't really need it. And the Fencer's Blade. There we go. That's better. And we've got... You dare. I, I do dare, Dirk. Hello, Dirk Von Karstein. There we go. Uh, so, Dirk, if you wouldn't mind Strike just popping out. over here, I want you to keep an eye on Schwarzhafen. Hellish just pop bigger. you into uh, deploy mode there, and that decreases the construction cost of building, so that's going to be quite useful. Um, right. Kemmler, your army is looking okay. Do we... Mm, do we grab... So we've only got 250 income at the moment. I just kind of want some cheapy units. 
Maybe just some more skeletons? Yeah, let's get a couple more skeletons and that's gonna... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, maybe we could hit Ostermark? Ostermark. Are you... Okay, you, you're, you're in a defensive alliance with Ostland. However, you are quite weak. Ostland, I haven't met yet, so I can't actually see how strong they are. Um, I'm gonna Let us let's go back way. into Waldenhof for the moment. I want to, I want to try and get Vlad on side. So I think maybe that's a good first step. Maybe. Not sure. Hmm. So I'm not sure if we can get him on side, but maybe. Maybe dealing with him is the best first step. Okay, the migration. So a great migra migration comes to our borders, demanding shelter from larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross into our territory or turn them away? We can say, be gone. There is no room for refugees here. Turn them back and let the gods decide their fate. That's a Daily Mail method or welcome. There's always wars to fight, so more bodies can be useful. Welcome them with a smile. They will pave the hospitality at a later time. That's the Guardian. Well, not, not quite the Guardian, but um, close enough. Um... Holy, that gives us income 100% from all... Only some public... Pff, yeah, welcome then. Gonna get that. Absolutely. No reason not to. Um, and let's get a gibbet, because that's gonna give us even more income. And I think I need it at the moment. Spread the rot. Okay, good. Good. Now... Do, mm. I mean, we could always hit the dwarves. I need... Of course, we've got the feces in the dark, the ghoul. These ghouls remember one thing, war, and they pursue that goal with single-minded savagery. And uh, Oswald's got a restless spirit. The spirits who are no longer bound to the mortal plane, but have thus far avoided Moore's grasp, can be tethered to a vampire service, for poltergeists have their uses, and that increases the public order by one. Um, sure, not sure how that particularly works. And Heinrich's got a restless spirit, restless spirits all around. Um, that is... Uh, my axe I was say haunting war. stuff. Uh, okay, so Karakadrin. What sort of defences have you got? So you've got Thane, Longbeards, Dwarf Warriors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's nothing particularly scary. You're not... I mean, you're at war with the Red Eye. But that's it. They will I mean... Pay. Maybe we should sack it? It would give us, I mean, it would give us 1,000. Um, is that worth the effort? Not really. That would give us 1,000. I mean, maybe we should attack Vlad. Maybe? Yeah, I think that might be a good plan. Uh, okay, so Kemler has got a new skill point. He's got one skill point to spend. Let's pop that in. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think no curse of undeath is actually worth it because it only is active if I'm casting, so it heals everyone on the map. If I'm, yeah, may as well. I mean, I'm going to cast spells anyway, so I may as well uh, get some benefit for it. And uh, Oswald, you've got three skill points to spend. Uh, let's go in Blade Master, and you know what? Let's uh, give you a a barded skeletal steel a uh, steed. That way you can ride with the uh, black knights, and uh, they can be your, your little your little homies. That'll be a uh, pretty cool. So we've uh, Oswald's got a, a a new ride. He's going to be well chuffed with that. He'll be grinning from ear to ear because he's a skeleton. So it's, it's all he can do. Oh, and here we go. So we've got a quest issued. Um, having realised the limits that mortality placed on him, Heinrich Kemmler made it his life's work to escape them. He became a great and much feared necromancer until his rivals brought him to his knees. Now he wanders a land, his body broken and his mind blasted. However, somewhere within, his innate lust for power still burns. As his faltering steps take him close to an ancient barrow, he hears whispers that cut through the chaotic whirl of his shattered thoughts, almost unbidden the words of summoning form on Kemmler's lips. So we need to embed a white king into Heinrich's army. Well, fortunately, we've got Oswald in there. So, um, so quest complete. Done. Good. 
Uh, so, what is thy will, master? The thoughts enter Kemler's head, resonating like the echoes of a crypt. The necromancer's unfocused gaze shifts to take in the imposing figure clad in tarnished gold and bronze armour, which stands before the barrow's broken doorstone. The blazing eyes of the White King are fixed at a point around which Kemler's thoughts coalesce and steady themselves. Though covered in sores and clad in beggar rags, the black tendrils of necromantic power wind through his frame, and he is the Lich Master once more. Bring the others, he croaks. So we need to have two uh, Graveguard units in Heinrich Kemmler's army. Well, we can't afford that at the moment, so... Uh, Let we'll... us make but doom. soon, but soon. Uh, uh, so where is... Where's Vlad? He's not in Schwarzhoff, he's not in the moot. He's left his, uh, his erotic Hobbit fanfiction behind. Presumably, I don't know. Maybe he's uh, taking it with him. But, um, hmm. Let him, uh, you know what? I don't want a sinister... Yeah, let's get rid of that. Because we've got one here. So I think what I'll do is keep that. And maybe... How far away are we from... Okay. I'm going to hold off because I think, yeah, get, building that's going to increase our income uh, significantly more than upgrading to will it? 175, 225. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. going to hold off. I need more minions. Uh, right, so I think what we're going to do is hit Vlad. So uh, the Skaven are at it again in Waldenhof. God damn it, Skaven. The populace in one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. On certain nights, whole ghettos or districts are left abandoned. The only clue of the remaining denizens is a triangular symbol dubbed on a nearby gate or wall. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure where old Vlad is, but let's... Um... Yep. We will make such charnel pits that your dead will choke the lands and then rise on my command. Yeah, well... Raise them! Um... I mean, that's going to be a pretty easy fight, so we'll just always resolve that one. There we go. Uh, do I occupy or do I? S I think I might sack. Don't rush me. Oh, Heinrich has got a terrifying mask of E. I'm sure, that's the annoys people say when they see him wearing it. Ah, oh, there's Vlad. I will not. Well, fine, be that way. Yeah, let's let's comes. pop back into our land. That's going to give us some replenishment. That'll be good. And uh, hopefully Vlad will head back to the moot and we can hit him again and wipe out his army. Um, I prefer that to him taking Gesundheit because if he takes that... What I'd, yeah, if, if he returns back to the moot, we can destroy his army, capture the moot. At that point, his only army is Schwarzhafen, so that way we can siege Schwarzhafen. Then he's locked down. And we've got... If, if, it, if, it, if he can confederate with it, if he will... He'll, it will be at that point. Otherwise, it just doesn't. It's not going to work. So that's what we'll do. I mean, I guess if we got more armies up and running, maybe he'd be more but um, inclined. Assume, but um, but as we share a bloodline, thou shalt not be shackled to my will. Oh, it's a bit of bit of tension there, isn't there? It's a bit of um. Manfred did say that uh. That he that Vlad loved Isabel the most, but he'd loved Manfred the longest. So, um, hmm. Okay, so he's offering some cash there for a peace treaty. I'm going to decline that and hope that he. Oh, he's dag nabbit, dag nabbit, Vlad. Okay, well, if Sterling, Sigma, is who Sterling? Okay, Sterling is. They are. They do have a defensive alliance with the Empire. The Empire in this, in the new patch, has been made slightly stronger. Um, they start off with the the whole of Reichland under their control, and I've actually seen um, the Empire do quite well for itself. Actually, not all the time, but it certainly seems to do better for itself. So um, there is that. Uh, so we do have a bit of cash coming in. Uh, so let's upgrade Drakenhof to a shady township. We'll do that. The nation do. I'm half tempted to attack By Sterling and destroy that army because okay so okay here's my thinking 
So currently Vlad controls Gesundheit, the Moot and Schwarzhafen. Ideally we want him locked down to Schwarzhafen or the Moot, somewhere where we can control. So I think what I'm going to... Schwarzhafen will be better because if I can control the Moot that means any army heading to Schwarzhafen to destroy Vlad has to come through my lands. Whereas the Moot, they can come across... They, they, Averheim is within a turn's reach of the Moot. Okay, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack Sterland to fight them. This is this is quite tricky stuff. And this is just trying to get Vlad to confederate with me by beating him up, but not letting anyone else kill him, and not killing him at the same time. So I think we're going to... Oh, do we... You know what, I'm going to let... Let's pop Follow in here, me. and we'll Maybe. raid. Because that'll give us a little bit of income. And we can let Sterland attack the Moot. That'll beat them up a little bit more. The Empire. And then we can hit the Moot and burn it to the ground. And then... I would like to control Schwarzhafen, but... I think that's the better option. Hmm. No. I, mm, no. Yeah, no. Mm. So okay, yeah, we'll try this. We'll try this. We'll go for that. Oh, indecision. Okay, so... Sterling has retaken the moot. That's okay. Okay, so the gods are angry, the omens are ill, something you must have done has angered the gods, yet they are fickle and may forgive you in time, or a more immediate appeasement than might be necessary. So we can give them a tribute, so that means we're going to lose some cash, and it gives us more public order. Or, so be it, let them stew! They should be patient, for your realm will endure and grow, and they will reap the benefits. And that's going to give us plus 20 growth and some public... Well, I'm just going to... So be it. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Now... Sigma. That seems to actually help them rather than hurt them. Maybe I should have struck them last turn. Um, you know what? I'm going to declare war. Yep. Turn them to death. Right. I feel like this is quite a ballsy uh, move to attack Sterling so early, actually. Uh, it does mean we're at war with the Empire. But um, we should be okay, I think. We've got um, cavalry uh, units and the Dire Pack moving up on the right flank here. And uh, Oswald. There's Oswald. He's got his new ride. He's uh, his, his little retune there. There he is. Doesn't he look dapper? Nice. I mean, yeah, look at that. See? That's pretty cool. Like that. So uh, there's Oswald there, he's got his new ride, that's, uh, that's pretty good stuff. They do have a couple of unit of pistoliers, and we don't really have any answer for that. I mean, the quickest unit we've got is probably the Dire Pack. They've got a speed of 96, the pistoliers have got a speed of 92. In my experience, that means the um, the Dire Pack will never catch the pistoliers. It just won't happen. I don't know why, but for some reason, missile AI-controlled missile units seem to be able to outrun anything. So we're just moving up for the engagement. I mean, other than a unit of Free Company Militia and the Pistoliers, the Empire Army here, the Sterland Army, has absolutely no missile units. So it's just it's just going to be a big, brutal melee. Which, frankly, I think is going to work in my favour. There we go. Swordsman rushing the Skellingtons. Oh, crash. There we go. Some Zombles getting stabbed there. Engagements going up and down the line. Got the Khan race here, and we're just waiting for a good engagement with our cavalry. We've got the Crypt Horrors coming around the left flank, and our Dire Pack's now going to go chasing after the Pistoliers. Um, yeah, they'll chase them around the map and never actually catch them, so uh, there we go. We've got the Khan racer coming in to deal with the Swordsmen, and we've got some Spearmen dealing with the Halberdiers. All in all, pretty good. There we go. Crush there. Then come our cavalry. And unfortunately, Albrich is uh, General of the Empire. He's going chasing after the X-rays. We don't want that because he's got... Oh, he doesn't actually have a magic weapon. Ah, they were, uh, so the mod... Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it means they don't have a magic weapon in the um, in the mod. I was a bit worried and moved the hex rays away because obviously... Vanilla game... Uh, Generals have magic weapons, which means they, they do quite well against the Hex Wraiths. But, uh, I just didn't have to worry about it. There we go. 
So we're just cutting through the swordsman unit. We've caught the free company militia there. The black knights have. Now they're charging into the rear of the centre here. The pistoliers have uh, actually charged the rear of the skeleton unit and actually doing quite well against them. Surprisingly on the left flank there. But otherwise, you know, we're holding. So it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, there's Krell. Krell's engaging the swordsman. Pretty much the centre of the empire line is broken now. So there we go. They've got a big gap in the centre there. And we're running rampant in the rear of their lines. The Crypt Horrors have engaged two Helvedere units. And I'm not doing... Well, the Helvedere... Uh, no, Spearman. Sorry. Spearman unit. And uh, obviously get, not doing too well against them. But the Crypt... Uh, the Hex Race are here to help. So there they are. The Black Knights are preparing to engage. They're going to get a nice rear charge on the Swordsman unit. And here they go. Yep, that was pretty devastating. Look at that. Absolutely crushing, and they're racking up the kills. Very nice. Oswald's chasing after Albrecht there. And on the right flank, the right flank's collapsed now. Krell assisted with that. Nice job, Krell. And now it's just the left flank. So they've got the Black Knights there. Again, they're racking up the kills. Very nice. Got some zombies coming in. They're going to lock down the pistoliers. Um, if we look onto the distance there, we can see the dive pack still chasing the pistoliers. Still not caught up with them. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. And uh, Crypt Horrors and Hex Race, now free, are going to come charging in to assist. Really, this is the uh, last resistance, is uh, pretty much here. We're going to try and drop a heal. You see the, the Crypt Horrors took quite a bit of damage and the Skeleton units are taking a bit as well. Here come the Crypt Horrors smashing into the rear and along with the Black Knights. Ooh. They are casting spells, that's true. And uh, yeah, these units are now broken and they're basically going to want to try and retreat as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, they're now surrounded. Don't worry, guys. It'll just be a, you know, a short, sharp pain, and then you'll be right back on your feet. As an undead slave, but, you know, I mean... In some ways, that might be, you know, good. Maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, they're being cut down there, so uh, Cryptoras did quite well, 71 kills there. And the Black Knight's 175. The Hex Race 184 doing quite well. Uh, where's Krell? That's Oswald there. He only got seven kills, but he did chase down the uh, Albrecht there, the General of the Empire. And can we find Krell? Where's Krell? Krell? Oh, there he is. Krell got 21 kills. Well, that's not that's not a particularly good showing, Krell, but uh, you know, I'll let you off this once. Just because you just can't say no to those puppy dog eyes. Those glowing necromantic filled puppy dog eyes yeah oh dear guys you're not having a good time are you no never mind Alberich down for the count there we only lost one unit of skeletons so uh, no biggie we've got some, ooh, quite not a nice bit of loot actually and uh, another rank gained good stuff there we go uh, right what do we, I mean do we want to occupy it I think yes. I think yes. Yep, we're going to take over the Shire. There we go. We got the moot, and um, what do, what, I hate the moot. Um, right, I'll leave. It, I'll leave it like that for the moment. I don't really care if it revolts. To be honest, my main concern is Sigma. Marius here. I don't want him attacking Schwarzhafen. To be honest, I think. I think Schwarzhafen is probably okay against that army, maybe. I might have to go to war with Avalon just to stop them as well. God damn it. Right. Uh, oh, so we can get Black Axe. That's more melee attack and charge for Krell. That's going to be well worth it. So we'll grab that. Good stuff. And uh, Oswald's got a skill point. Oswald did very well in the last battle. Very impressed by him. So let's get him Deadly Blade. 
There we go. And uh, has he got anything else we can give him? What about... Uh, no. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, and let's grab maybe another skeleton. Let's just replace our, our lost skeleton, I think. There we go. And got Castle Drakenhof building stuff there. That's good. Waldenhof, I would quite like you to have some walls, actually. If at all possible, I think that would be a good idea. The moot, I'm absolutely bothered about. Um, Fort Oberstry, yeah, let's upgrade that as well. Okay, good stuff. So there we are. Uh, a good start to our brand new Vampire Counts campaign. Good stuff. And it's only going to get better from here. And I, I promise that this campaign will be completed. We've, we're only a short time into Warhammer 2 releases, but this will this campaign will be completed by that point. Um, if my name is an Estebar von Stinkelbert. Good. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.